right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. We finally, finally got the head mounted camera back. The POV style videos, everybody's been uh, wanting them. So I figured, why not? So, yeah, we are headed up to uh, Williamsburg, Virginia right now. And, uh, yeah, after that, we got to pick literally 10 minutes down the road in Toana, OVA. And then we're heading back down to Tampa. And then from Tampa, we'll just come back home. <laughs> because next week, I'm going on vacation. So, and I'm going, I'm going to be gone for a week. So I'll try to have a video out for you guys before I leave. Or I'll try to have some videos already pre-uploaded so I can release, you know. Like, as I'm on the cruise. But yeah, it's an ugly rainy day here in Jax. What's new? But it is Sunday, so I am leaving on a Sunday. take this off and cut one of these huck bolts off and mount them somewhere down there so the trailer doesn't hit them no more. I don't know what's going on. It never used to do this and now all of a sudden it is. So, yeah. Kind of sucks. Also, another thing I started doing is I started sanding away at, uh, at this door right here to take off all these decals gonna paint over all of this okay and then probably I'm gonna start taking off all the little stuff too and just paint over that so I don't know just start to clean up the truck a little bit oh man look at that 600 bucks and we only got 125 gallons it's crazy I'll catch y'all whenever we uh, finish fueling. Alright guys, so we just fueled up. It was like 170 gallons, something like that. Topped them off to the brim because after looking at the discount, we got the diesel for like 388, which is crazy. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Finally getting some cheaper uh, diesel the last week the minimum I was getting was like 430 so it's went down freaking 50 cent with this discount company that we use I guess so that's a nice W9 look at that thing I'd still like to own one one day. When is that gonna be? I don't know. Look at that thing. That's a monster. 
Yeah, like a classic. No commercial trucks. So yeah, for all you guys out there, um, let me know how you guys are doing out there. I mean, I don't know. I, uh, you know, one thing I do really want to talk about is that a lot of comments are like, oh, you're complaining, you're complaining. What else is there to talk about? It's not that I'm complaining, I'm just speaking facts. Like, you guys don't know the difference between complaining and, and what's factual. That's, it's insane to me. Like, just because I'm talking about how the rates are so bad and this and that and blah, 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 everyone thinks I'm complaining. And, like, that whole other video with the freaking, uh, you know, with the, uh, when the, with the shipper thing, like, you know, the whole purpose was for you guys to see, to understand, like, that dude was an asshole for no reason because I was, I was already leaving the premises. And then that whole trucker union video, that was just, I mean, whatever. My, my theory was that there'd be a law implemented, there'd be a law implemented that protects the rates from going under $2 a mile. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to like, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's like, you know, I'm fresh, I'm, I don't know all the old school stuff and this and that and third. I don't know like, you know, what happened back in the day and stuff like that, but I'm just saying like, we need some, we need something that protects, you know, us from these shady freight brokers lowering these rates lower than two dollars that's all i'm saying that's kind of where my point was trying to get at but it seemed like it got twisted along the way i don't know but that's really what you know i just would, would like to happen so that's kind of just what i really want to happen with you know with the whole rate thingy I mean, it's hard, man. You know, a lot of people out here are, are busting their tail, breaking their trucks, hauling these super heavy loads. I mean, you know. Yeah, the year before, we might have been getting okay rates. But still, like, it, it should never be this bad, you know. The rates should mimic the fuel price. You know. Sort of, kind of. I know a lot of people say fuel surcharge, whatever the case may be, but point blank period, I just don't think the rates should be as low as a certain rate per mile. That's just how I think. I mean, hey, everybody has their own opinion at the end of the day. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it here. We're waiting to get a door. Unfortunately, our promo was at 10 tonight or 11, but I'm about to wire in this, uh, like this dome like thingy that I bought and I'll show y'all what it looks like after. But <clears throat> yeah, it kind of sucks being early, but hey, what can you do? Um, after this, go to the truck stop, take our 10, wake up in the morning and head back up to Tawano Toano VA or whatever it's called. Then we're heading down to Tampa. Alright guys, it's the next morning. We got here to this uh, truck stop and uh, we're about to go to the pick. Pickup is between 7 and 8 like at night. 
but so basically it's like a first come first serve type of deal so that's where we're about to go we got to go back down 64 since there were no truck stops near the uh, shipper it's only like what 16 miles away not that bad um but yeah so we're about to uh get on out of here all right, we made it back down to Kenley. We got loaded. Look at that FLD over there. But, uh, now we picked up some food. Now we're about to make our way back down to Jack's. I should get a truck wash, honestly, but we gotta see how busy it is. All right, so we got our food, as y'all seen. So, something that y'all don't know is I started a diet. Yeah, your boy AK started to diet. You know, you can't be the burger man forever, you know what I mean? Um, reason being is I, I don't know, I just noticed my health. Like, I don't know, it, it, it's just I wanted to, to be healthier, you know? So I got this bowl. It's a power bowl from Taco Bell. It's basically... For people that want to, I guess, be some sort of healthy, I guess. So what I do is I get it and I mix it up in the bowl. And I just, I toss it. And, uh, yeah, pretty healthy alternative rather than eating Wendy's or some crap like that. So, yeah, I, uh, started eating, you know, breakfast. I started, you know, eating, like, light yogurts and whatnot. Just basically going on a different diet. Also, I quit drinking a good bit. Um... So I also I quit smoking cigarettes and I also quit drinking. So I'm definitely dedicated to the diet because uh, I don't know. I just uh, there's not really many good options for us to eat out here. You know what I'm saying? So I figure why not? So remember guys, there's always something out there that's healthy for you to eat. But, so yeah, that little, that light thing that I did, I'm gonna show you. So this is the light thing that I, that I bought. Didn't come with the watermelon light, just came with these little wires on the back. Honestly, I mean, it's okay. I kind of don't like it. The holes don't line up with the bracket up there. So, uh, yeah, now we're going to have to uh, now we're going to have to put self-tappers in there. And really not what I wanted to do. Y'all know me. I'm a, I'm a type of guy to take something off. When I buy something, I expect it to go on the same type of way. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, I'm going to eat this food. I'll cut you on a little bit. Alright, guys. I made it back to the house. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Um, I was driving all day. Finally made it around like 6 back to the yard. We got to deliver that load in Tampa tomorrow. And then we're going to turn and burn. And probably go back up there eventually. <laughs> Or maybe go to Houston, then come back, because we are going on a cruise next week for a couple of days, uh, me and Cass. And, uh, yeah, definitely much needed. So, without further ado, hope y'all enjoyed. Remember, um, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.